Woo! And the deodorant. You ain't gonna need that bad boy. Top squeeze. Good bloody morning guys and welcome back. Oh, I'm quite excited. How's it going? Hope you're doing good. I'm doing good. I'm actually really excited for today. What's going on today? We are at the National Australian Lure and Flora Expo. Now this is the biggest pretty much fishing expo in Australia and it's growing each year. Pretty much named for Australian makers coming in and showcasing their lures. But you have everything from tackle stores to tackle companies, boats just everything bloody fishing and each year it's getting bigger and bigger so what i'm going to try and do is bring you guys along that didn't get a chance or haven't been or didn't go this year or don't know about it to see what it's all about and like always i can't help myself i'll be grabbing a bunch of lures and hopefully using them in an upcoming video the things i'll be looking for is top water always top water baby but australian made lures i want to get some australian made top water lures that just attention to detail and different so yeah it's going to be a bit different today a bit of vlogging and about a 2k walk to the bloody thing but that means a lot of people are here it's going to be good let's go Phew.
fucking out of the expo. So I ended up going in there, started talking a lot of crap to me mates and ran into a lot of people. And for those that I ran into and met, it was really good to meet you guys. I'll show you the lures. I got some pretty cool stuff that I like. Yo! Mission HQ. Ah! Oh. Yeah. Big bag of goodies. <laughs> alrighty, 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 alrighty. What's going on, guys? Oh, let's fix that up a little bit. So obviously, I'm back at Mission HQ. I live and fly expo. Bloody awesome as usual. I wish I could have done a bit more filming, but look, it's a bit. It was a bit of a yarn and a big building full of people and you know. What's going on. But here we are. I got a bag of lures that I picked out that I thought were pretty cool, and yeah. Let's get right into it. Oh no, that didn't really work out, did it? I'm gonna start off with these ones from Tricky. Tricky! They're pretty cool. Comes in a packet, just soft plastic swim baits, weedless hooks in them. Can't go wrong, nice colour. But what I found from these guys that is pretty damn awesome is these bro. Might just look like a spinnerbait to the naked eye. I mean, I was trying to look for something different. Like I do use a lot of spinnerbaits, but have a go at this. So this is actually interchangeable spinnerbait that is weedless. So you've got a weedless hook going on. So we got a bit going on, like this is deadly. So here, pop this bad boy off and you can have that tied onto your main line and instead of retying you just pop that bad boy off like so and grab your other size or color choice that you want to use and boom oh i put that on wrong but you get the gist of it so interchangeable and with that you can pop and change different arms different blades it really gives you a multi-choice on what you use and Easy to change up, switch up colors, quick changes. For a lazy fisherman, that's my kind of fish. I've got a few different colors, few different sizes of them bad boys. Also like that, like an underspin bloody thing. And they got some pretty damn cool gear. Also all the brands that I'm using, I'm gonna try and leave their Facebook in the description. So make sure you go check them out if you like it or wanna try something out. So that's Tricky Lures. Next, I thought these guys made some pretty sick stuff, so. They had a really good stand this year, uh, one that I wasn't familiar with. Jolly, lolly. Jolly pop, jollop, jollop lures. Now look at this thing. The attention to detail this guy has is unreal. And the hardware, everything, everything's bloody damn good on it. So I thought this would be pretty cool using it as like a stick bait, walk the doggy, bit of <laughs> try to get that muzzy to both. Also who had a really good stand that stood out to me was these guys. Whip tail lures. Now here, this is another, there was a lot of people that had these sorts of baits and I think they're pretty cool. They're just like a buzzing sort of, like a fizzer bait. So that's like a smaller one, probably use that for bass, even for some small cod into the creeks. But this is what caught my eye. It's like a nice wake bait, but just a good size to throw. No one's really making that size to, you know, throw in your rivers and creeks that aren't, you know, you can use that on any sort of gear. You're not throwing, it's not like you're throwing a bloody tree branch. So decided to use that, good color. Similar to that bait is from Dave's Laws. That's also another wake bait, like around that same sort of size, easy to cast. Look, the color, it's a bit hairy garment, that's all he had, so. Now this guy makes some wicked lures, grumpy lures. Look at these bad boys. Now the tension, oh, tension to detail on these lures are just unreal. Look at that. That is like a swim bait, little diver sort of thing, but you would be able to work that on top. It's like a nice Murray Cod pattern on it. It's got a stamp on there. Just the paint job on these are unreal. That's pretty cool, I'm excited to use that bad boy. With that comes just like your generic walker bait. Same thing, paint job, bloody sick. It looks gangster, eh? And this is pretty cool. This would be for the salt, this is, Look, I don't do a lot of it, but you know, you can vibe this. This metal thingamajig at the back bounces around sort of like, so imitate like a paddle tail, but obviously that's a hard body vibe. So that's gonna be cool to use, grumpy lures. Another tricky's color, oh, that's cool. These are a prototype, but look, just another, it's another Australian lure maker making a soft plastic froggy woggy. I forget what brand that was. But anyway, got a few different colors of those. I do love me frogs. Now this lure is an Australian made, but it's something my mate Ivan had uh, from Bait and Tackle had a store open. And this lure I've seen in the shop for ages and I always wanted to grab one. This is an uh, Imakatsu 
Look at that bad boy. You know, JDM Laws, Imakatsu, make some wicked stuff. Can't wait to throw this bad girl around. Probably lose her in a tree. Swagger. Now you're ready? You're ready for my favorite law that I found at the expo and it's just, it's just different. Like, I don't know if it's gonna be a good lure or, but I was a sucker for it as soon as I seen it. So this comes from Sandfly Lures card. Oh, yeah, here's another little card. Oh, huh, they're from Dolby. That's my neck of the woods. How we got this thing? Oh, all right. Get this band-aid off. Oh. That, my friends, you know what that is. That's a rat. But it's like a paddle tail, the, the you know, you don't have a different color for the paddle that's coming out. It's all colored in. Got trebles hanging off it. It's got a wild body shape. And a little whiskers hanging out. That that I just said that. I said that's that's me, baby. Had to pick the most flockiest color out of them all. But oh, look at something different. <laughs> Sandfly lures. You done it. That's sick. That was my pick of the crop. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this short video. Make sure you check out the videos, up and coming videos. You'll be seeing a bunch of these baits getting used. Hopefully, try and tick a few fish off them. Excited to use them. Like always, if you're not a subscriber, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help a brother out. We might rig get rigged up and go and try a bit a little bit of fishing. <laughs> See you later, guys.